Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah Ilaha illahu Ala ma manna bihi A'alina min al-ni'm al-kathira Al-zahirat wal-batina Wa ashadu an la ilaha Allah wahdahu la sharika la Wa ashadu anna muhammadan Abduhu wa rasulu Salawatullahi wa salamuhu Alayhi Amma ba'd by the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our praise belong to him the one that is none that has the right to be worshipped except him who has bestowed upon us blessings in abundance blessings that are inward and outward and I bear witness that none has the right to be worshipped other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is alone without having any partners and I bear witness that Muhammad ibn Abdullah that he is his servant and his messenger, may the peace and salutations of Allah be upon him and upon his family and to the establishment and those who follow upon his guidance and to the establishment of the last day. So proceed, Ikhwan. فَنَوَاسِلُوا مَعَكُمْ فِي هَذِي الْيَوْمِ الْمُبَارِكَ عَوْنًا مِنَ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ So we continue in this blessed and noble day of ours, seeking the aid and the assistance of our Lord the most merciful and the most compassionate مستفيدين متعلمين من علم الحديث من علم الحديث so we continue to learn from the science of الحديث طيب فمن صاحب هذا هذا السؤال so we have a question يا إخوان who's going to answer إن شاء الله تعالى أقسام الحديث تنقسم إلى كم the categories of hadith are divided Hishmatullah into how many categories? Three categories. Three categories. Ahsant. Hada inda nisa'ina, one of our beloved sisters, Uthkuri lana aqusam al-hadith al-thalatha. Mention the three types of al-hadith. The three types of al-hadith. Jameel and Ahsant. Um Ahsantunna. Masih. ما هو الحديث الضعيف؟ What is the hadith that is weak? What is the hadith that is ضعيف? Weak narrator. I can have a weak narrator. The chain is not complete. Chain is not complete. What else? It can have two things in the chain. A broken chain. It can be broken. Jade. What else? What about shad? Sadkur shad. Do you remember Shad? Can't have any Shad. Can't have Ilat al Fadiha, a hidden weakness. No. Atina Hishmatullah Ta'arifan Aisara Mihaba. Give us an easier definition than that of a weak hadith. It's a hadith which has one of the, uh, it is, if one of the condition of uh, uh, hadith is Sahih was mm -hmm. missed, it is Daif. Jameel and the hadith, Lam Yatawafa. شروط الصحة أو شروط الحسن. The hadith that doesn't fulfill the conditions of صحيح or the conditions of حسن. فهذا الحديث يكون ضعيفا يكون ضعيفا. If a hadith does not meet the criterion to be حسن or the criterion to be ضعيف, هنا إذا يكون ضعيفا يكون ضعيفا. Then this hadith is considered to be weak. طيب أين توقفنا؟ Where do we stop, يا إخوان؟ Do you advise the women to memorize hadith also? لا بس. نعم طبعا أنصحهن بحفظ القرآن وبحفظ الحديث أكثر مما نحن نحفظ. Yes, we advise and recommend the women to memorize the Book of Allah, to memorize the Hadith, the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم more so than we covered ourselves. فأشجع كل البنات اللاتي عندنا والنسوة اللاتي عندنا وأمهات اللاتي عندنا أن يكونا من علماء هذا الدين أن يكونا من علماء هذا الدين. We encourage all of our beloved sisters that we have, all of our beloved daughters that we have, all of the mothers, for us here for all of the women in general to be from the scholars of this religion here for us. 
فصل الله تعالى أن يجعل أختنا زينب وبحجة وسحامة وخديجة وحلالا ونسيبة وأسماء وأسناء وكل مدرسات وجميعهن أن يكون من علماء هذا الدين and we ask Allah that he makes our beloved sister Zainab and our beloved sister Bahja and Siham and Khadija and the other names Hilal and Nusayba and the likes and their teachers and all the women that we have who do a tremendous job we ask that Allah Ta'ala makes all of them from the scholars of this religion طيب أين توقفنا؟ Where did we stop يا إخوان؟ توقفنا عند آخر نوع من أنواع الحديث. We stopped at what category from the categories of the hadith. انتهينا بمرفوع. We did مرفوع. هو المعتاد. ونقطع. طيب. Eighteen. Eighteen. طيب قال وكل من متصل بحال إسناده منقطع عصاني. والمعضل ساقط منه اثنان وما أتى مدلس نوعان طيب من يريد أن يقرأ هذين بيتين who wants to recite these two lines of poetry وكل من لم يتصل بحال فضل الشيخ كل ما لم يتصل بحال إسناده منقطع الأوصال والمعضل الساقط منه اثنان وما أتى وما أتى مدلس نوعان نحسنت الله أكبر الله أكبر فضل يا هشمة الله اقرأ وكل ما وكل ما لم يتصل إسناده وكل ما لم يتصل بحالي وكل ما لم يتصل بحالي إسناده للمنقطع أو صالي والمعضل والمعضل الساقط منه اثنان وما أتى مدلسا وما أتى مدلسا نوعا أحسنت أحسنت فضي شيخ وكل ما لم يتصل بحالي إسناده منقطع الأصالي والمعضل والمعضل الساقط الثاني للثنان وما أتى مدلسا نوعا أحسنت أحسنت وبارك الله فينا وفيكم عند بناتنا our beloved daughters our beloved sisters تفضلي وكل ما وكل ما لم يتصل بحال إسناده منقطع الأوصال والمعضل الساقط منه اثنان وما أتى مدلسا نوعا ما شاء الله ما شاء الله أحسنتي أحسنتي الثانية our second sister have you thought memorized tonight what to do then تقرأ and wants to recite لا بس إن شاء الله next time إن شاء الله طيب فما هو الحديث المنقطع وسط الحديث that is broken آه هو الحديث الذي لم يتصل إسناده the حديث that is chain is not connected جميلا بشر تعلمنا شرطا واحدة فما هو we learned the condition of the منقطع for you to call it منقطع it has to have a condition If if uh, some uh, it's a tabi narrated from prophet, mm -hmm. but there is only uh, uh, not mis uh, missing sahabi. Right. Another if there is another uh, tabi missed, it's yeah. muhatta. Accent. For sharat an la yakun al tawali. Accent. So the condition is that the breakage, if it's more than one, it can't be in succession. If a companion is missing, it can't be a sahabi and a tabi. مثلا. It can be al tawali. It can't be two in a row. هذا يسمى معضل. That's going to be called معضل. وتعلمنا أن كل معضل منقطع وليس كل منقطع معضل. And we learned the principle similarly that every hadith that's called معضل you can call it منقطع. But not every منقطع you can call it معضل. معضل is انقطاع خاص. معضل. As we're going to learn, inshallah, is a specific breakage. It's a specific breakage. Al Murqatir, in Qita'un Aam. When the chain is broken, that's general. Al Murqatir, in Qita'un Khas. 
the Mu'abal hadith is a hadith that is breakage is specific. It's a specific type of breakage. تعلمنا أيضا أن الإمام الزهري لم لم يدرك من من الصحابة فائدة عظيمة تمنز بنفس. We learn that Imam Zuhri he never met which companion. He never met Umar, and he never met who else? Only Umar. Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr. Uthman. Uthman. No Sahabi. No Sahabi. لم يروي عن أحد منهم لم يلقى أحد منهم he never met any of the companions فإذا عندنا حديث والراوي محمد بن شهاب وهو زهري عن النبي عرفنا أن هذا السند منقطع هذا سند منقطع so if you find a hadith in which محمد بن شهاب الزهري is a narrator and he's narrated from the prophet then no this chain is broken. This chain is broken. إذا أنا أنقل حديثا عن الشيخ مقبل أنا ما قبلته فلذلك هذا سند منقطع. If I narrate a hadith from the Sheikh of our Sheikh, Sheikh Mukbil ibn Hadi al I say Sheikh Mukbil said. I never met him. So my chain is broken. My chain is broken. يوجد شخص شيخ بيني وبينه there's someone, a scholar, between me and him. So if I say, Sheikh Mukbo said, you say, hey, have the hadith manqati'i. This hadith is broken. Ta'i' qala wal mu'dalu sabitu min huthnani wa ma ata mudallasa nu'ani. He says, next category. The mu'dal hadith, the hadith that is called mu'dal, as sabitu min huthnani. It's the chain that two people are missing. Two people are missing. وَمَا أَتَى مُدَلَّسَ النُّعَانِ And the hadith that we're going to learn that has tadlis in it has two categories. That's the next category after mu'adal. فَمَا هُوَ الْحَدِيثُ الْمُعَدَالِ So what is the mu'adal? اُكْتُبُ هَذَا Write this down, ya ikhwan. الْحَدِيثُ الْمُعَدَالِ هُوَ ما سقط ما سقط من إسناده من إسناده راويان أو أكثر راويان أو أكثر على التوالي ما سقط من إسناده راويان is the hadith that two narrators are missing. Two or more narrators are missing. Ala tawali. And this, they're missing in sequence. They're missing in row. Ma sakata. Ma sakata min isnadihi rawiyani. Aw akthar. Ala tawali. It's the hadith that two or more narrators are missing. At least two. Has to be two. Al-Tawali. But they're missing in sequence. They're missing in order. Ma saqata min isnadi rawiyan. It's the hadith that two narrators are missing. Aw akthar. Two or more. Doesn't have to be two. Two or more. Al-Tawali. But they're missing in order. They're missing one after the other. Ta'ir. Man you got the ta'arifa? Who can recite? Repeat the definition. Al Hadith al Mu'dal who was ma saqata min isnadihi rawiyan aw akthara ala ala tawali. MashaAllah. One of our sisters, Fadli, come read, read, repeat. Tawali. Asanti. Asanti. Ta'ib. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Faman indahu al-sawaab bil-mu'adal. Who has a question regarding the mu'adal? Mu'adal is sahih. That's easy, ikhwan. Ma saqata minhu al-rawiyani wa akhtara ala tawali. Ta'ib. The hadith. 
that there are two people missing from the chain in order. They miss it in order. Qatar doesn't have that uh, condition. Accent. Qatar is the opposite. Lays ala tawali. They're missing. One person is missing, for example. If it's two, they're not missing in order. They're not missing in order. So, al-farqu bayna al-mu'adwal wa al-munqati' anna al-mu'adwal as-saqat bayna al-rawiyin ala tawali. The mu'adwal, the difference is that the mu'adwal hadith, the two people who are missing, madha? Uh, they are in order. They are in order. Fa'idatan. Tfadda. Tfadda. Accent. Every mu'adwal is muqati'ah. Huh? But not every muqati'ah is muqati'ah. Accent. Huwa kama qulta. It's just as you mentioned. Every mu'adwal is muqati'ah. If you have two people on the chain and they're missing in order, yes, you sama muqati'ah. You can call that break, uh, broken. But not kulu muqati'ah mu'adwal. But not every breakage the people are in order. If they're in order, it's called mu'adwal. They're not in order, manqati'ah. Our sister, tafadali. Laysa, hadha swal jameel. That's a good question. La yakunu sha'a'u la yashtaritu an yakunu fi kulli tabaqa. It's not a condition that has to be two missing on each level. It's not a condition. It can be in the beginning of the chain, in the middle of the chain, it can be at the end of the chain. If they're in uh, succession, then this is called mu'adwal. فائدة البنف قال الإمام الجوزجاني هو إمام في الحديث إمام الجوزجاني قال المعضل أسوأ حالا من المنقطع he gives us a tremendous benefit of hadith he says the معضل is more severe is more weak is weaker than the hadith المنقطع the معضل is more severe, is more weak, is weaker than the munqatir. If you have two men in the chain missing in order, this is more weak than you have one here or one here. No, if they're fit tawali, hada ashaddu, mada min al munqatir. Al munqatir wal mu'adal khas. If you have two sisters in the chain and they're missing back to back, our mu'allima Zainab, she narrates an. Siham wa Zainab suqitat wa Sihamun suqitat. Had al hadith aswa min al hadith fihi al inqitar lays ala tawali. You have two female narrators. Abil Abu Alima Zainab is narrating from Siham. Both of them are missing in order. Both of them are missing. This hadith is more severe than the hadith that one person is missing. So two are missing in order. Two are missing in order. فَالْرَاوِي يُسْقِدُ شَخْسَيْنِ عَلَى التَّوَالِي So someone in the chain skips two people in a row, in, in order, in succession. So his narration is more evil or more weak than another narration. أَشَدُّ ضَعْفًا أو أَشَدُّ ضَعْفًا مِنْ مُنْقَتِعْ It's more weak. Then the Munqatir. Remember, Ya Khwan, Al Munqatir Aam Wal Mu'adal Khas. Munqatir is general. Someone is missing. Mu'adal is specific. Two people are missing back to back. In succession. In order. Fahitatun Thaniya. Benefit number two. Wal Munqatir Aswa Uhalan Min Al Mursa. Benefit number two. The Munqatir is more severe than the mursal. Aswa'u hala min al-mursal. The hadith is munqati'ah. Someone is missing. It's more severe than a companion being missing. It's more severe. إِذَا تَابِعْ يَرْوِ حَدِيثًا أَلَذِينَ خَافْ أَنَّهُ مَا أَخَذَ الْحَدِيثَ عَنَ الصَّحَابِ هَذَا لَا يَضُرُّ الذين خاف أن هذا التابعية أخذ الحديث من تابعين آخر. طيب. The Mursal we mentioned before was afraid for the Mursal. It's not that the Tabi'i narrates from a companion but doesn't mention the companion. That doesn't harm. The companion not mentioned doesn't harm. Was afraid in the Mursal hadith. Who remembers? Abdul Fatah. Basically, all tabi'is are not reliable. Hey, all the tabi'un are not reliable. 
So what's afraid is that he heard this hadith from a tabi'i that is weak. So this is what's afraid or what's fear regarding the hadith. Mada al mursal. Taib al faida tu tharitha tu. Benefit number three. Al mursalu la taqumu bihi hujja. La taqumu bihi hujja. Al mursalu la taqumu bihi hujja. The hadith that's called mursal is not a proof. The hadith that's mursal, the tabi'i says, قال النبي, this hadith is not a proof. Because the asl fihi al-da'af, in qita' al-sanad. Because in reality, the chain is broken. The hadith that's mursal, the chain is broken. No. No. Tafadali. Do some scholars accept the Mursal Hadith? No. Some, the answer is yes. That's not a proof. Some scholars accept the Hadith as Mursal. If a one scholar only says that this Hadith is Hasan, but the rest of the like Imam Tirmidhi, mm. most of some, if you see, uh, like there is most of the mm. hadiths they say Hasan and Sahih, yeah. but the other uh, scholar says no. Oh, uh, then uh, what's the condition? Do we should accept it as a uh, uh, Hasan or we should? Uh, when the scholars differ, like in this example, Rabbi Allah, brother Hishmat Allah, when the scholars differ, what do we do? Firstly, we don't blame them. Number one. Number two, if we are able to look at the proof, we have to look at the proof. Number two, if you have the ability to do the research, you guys can do the research. Then it's obligatory for you to do the research. How do I do? That's obligatory. And Islam will be on the proof. Islam is built upon proofs. But if we don't have the ability to look at the proof, we have to look at the proof. ونثق في قول العلماء لا بأس بذلك لا لا نقلد لكن نثق في قوله لا بأس. but if we can't do the research we still don't blame follow but it may be a scholar that we deem to be reliable so we follow what this sheikh is saying no problem but we don't blame follow it مثلا الإمام الألباني يرى أن الرفع بعد الركوع أن يدع الرجل يده اليمنى على اليسرى على الصدر بدعة هذا قول الألباني رحمه الله تعالى. give an example. إمام الألباني رحمه الله تعالى the great Imam of the Hadith. he has an opinion that when you come up from the ركوع when you place your right hand on your left hand on the chest that this is a بدعة. هذا قول شيخ الألباني. that's a بدعة. طيب قال العثيمين نفس الفعل لكن يسميه بقول آخر. قال أنه سنة. Shaykh what they mean, the same action. Coming up from the Rukur, he says to place your right or on your left is a sunnah. Bid'a, sunnah. Fa, fi ayy halim min ahwali al Islam, la tu sawi sunnah tu bid'a'ata abadan. And no example from the examples of Islam, no condition, is a sunnah equal to a bid'a. No way. Tayyip, hadha ra'yuhu huwa, wa hadha ra'yuhu huwa. That's his opinion. That's his opinion. طيب ماذا نفعل? What do we do? إذا يمكننا نبحث علينا نبحث. If we can, we have to do the research. What's the hadith he's using to support this abdaa? What's the hadith he's using to support this is a sunnah. طيب as far as Sheikh Al Bani, ما عنده الدليل هو يبني قولة على قاعدة. He doesn't have a hadith. He's using a principle. He's using a principle. ما هو الابدعه? What's the abdaa? Something new. Something new in the religion. Something else. How is it new? It doesn't have what. It doesn't have an origin. Doesn't have a proof. طيب. So Sheikh Al Bani is saying, "Ain't a delil khas ala hala." What he's saying is, where is the specific proof that says when the Prophet got up, he says, "Sami Allahu Nimin Hamida," and places right on his left specifically. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's not there. Not in Bukhari, not in Muslim, not in Tirmidhi, not in the Bayhaqi, not in Nasai. No, you just, it's not there. 
in the books of hadith. Okay. Where is the proof of Shaykh Uthaymin's position? Khasan, specifically, he doesn't have one. He's using a hadith on Aam, a general hadith. So Shaykh Al-Bani is looking for a specific hadith, there is none. Shaykh Uthaymin uses a general hadith, hadith Wa'i. He says, عندما مررت بالنبي عليه الصلاة والسلام وهو يقوم رأيته واضعا يده اليمنى على يسر وهو قائم أو كما قال وائل والحديث في الإمام النسائي وائل بن حجر says I passed by the messenger of Allah his right was on his left and he was standing that's general it didn't say what it didn't say what position specifically after the poor it said he was standing طيب there's no specific proof it says after the Rukur, what the Prophet did with his hands, specifically, is not there. It's not there. For whatever reason, the companions, Lam Yarwi, had the hadith on the Nabi, or had the mawqif on the Nabi. For whatever reason, the companions didn't mention specifically, after the Prophet came up, after the Rukur, they didn't mention that. Tell you, if you can do the research, do the research. If you can't do the research, and you say, Shaykh Al-Bani, atiqu bihi, and atabi'uhu. You can't do the research. You don't have the books. You don't have the material. You don't have the teachers and the ulama to do research, to ask. So you say, Shaykh al is reliable to me. I'm going to follow him. No problem. There's a difference between following and blind following. What's the difference? If I say, I'm going to follow Shaykh al no problem in that. If I say, you have to follow Shaykh al-Bani, he is right, anyone who follow, uh, contradicts him is wrong, that's blind following. Two different positions. al faruq bayna tiba' wa taqlid. There's a difference between following and blind following. If you can do the research, a Timothy says this hadith is hasan. Limada qala hadha. Why is he saying that? If you can check it, <coughs> and look at the chain, and find the man that he's saying is weak, if you can't do that and you follow a scholar in that regard, no problem. As long as you don't blind follow. That's what I would say there. Wallahualam. Ta'ayyat. Aina nahnu ya ikhwan. Aina tawakafna. Aakhiru fa'ida. It was our last benefit. Musa is not a proof, but in reality the chain is broken. Ahsent. Ahsent. Wa ma'ahu shar. What's the condition of the mu'adol? Has to be uh, consecutive. Ah, sent has to be on a tawali. Has to be mother in succession. Jamilan, our sisters and the kids and the kunna sawalam. You guys have any questions there? And tum tafhamun and tum na tafhamna. You guys understanding al hadith al mu'adal, the hadith al mu'adal. For me, what mu'adal? So what's the hadith that's mu'adal? Our beloved sisters. The hadith that has two or more missing narrators with the condition they have to be min, uh, missing in order. They have to be missing in order. And the Masi, Tafamuya Masi, you understand the Murgha? What's the Murgha? It's more weak than the Murgha, mashallah. I sent. Ta'ayat, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Let's continue, Yahwa. Ta'ayat. Qala. Amma al hadith al mudallis. As for the hadith that has tadlis in it. Al tadlisu, al tadlisu lisnaat. له صورتان. There are two types of تدليس. There are two types of تدليس. طيب. الأول تدليس الإسناد. The first one is called تدليس الإسناد. تدليس that's in the chain. تدليس الإسناد. The first one is Tadlis of the chain. Tadlis of the chain. Wathani Tadlisu Shuyukh. 
تدلیس و شیوخ تدلیس و شیوخ تدلیس of the scholar first one تدلیس و اسناد when the تدلیس is in the chain تدلیس of the chain والثاني تدليس شيوخ تدليس شيوخ the تدليس of the scholar تدليس of the sheikh ما هو الأول the first example تدليس الإسناد قال ذكره بقوله الإسقاط للشيخ وأن ينقل عمد فوقه بعن وأن طيب تدليس of the chain is when you, the person removes the shaykh, the person in the chain, he removes him. But he removes him by mentioning an or an. He says, on the authority of, and he removes, he doesn't mention that shaykh. Isqatu shaykh. So he removes the person by saying, on the authority of such and such. So he skips this shaykh and narrates directly from someone else. مثلا مثلا an example أنا لم أسمع من شيخ مقبل حديثا ما ما قبلته يوما من أيام حياتي ومن حياتي ومن أيام حياتي I never met the sheikh not one day of his life not one day of my life I never met him طيب أنا أنقل عنه طيب but I'm going to narrate from him so I say عن شيخ مقبل so the shaykh that I heard this hadith from, مثلا, Shaykh Ma'amar. And la anqulu an hu, and usqitu hu, wa anqulu an Shaykh Muqbil bi qawli an. I heard the hadith from our Shaykh, Abu Fida. So I should say, Abu Fida said, Shaykh Muqbil said. That's the chain. I remove Abu Fida, and I mention Shaykh Muqbil by saying an, because I didn't hear it from him. If I say I heard it from him, كذبتوا على عنه. So I say عن شيخ مقبل وأسقطوا الذي سمعته عنه. And I remove the one that I heard it from. I heard it from Zay, from Sheikh Ma'amar. I don't mention Zay. I say عن remove him, Sheikh Ma'amar. So that's تدليس. That's the first time. To remove the person totally, but then you say عن from such and such. I can't say such and such said. I can't say I heard. That's a lie. So I say an on the authority of. And I remove who I actually heard it from. And I mention who actually said it. That's an example of Tadlisu al Isnad. Tadlis of the chain. Isqatu Shaykh. Bikawni an or an. This I want you to write it down. To remove Isqatu Shaykh. Be an o n to remove the sheikh and use the word an or an is called to sheikh be calling an o n to remove the scholar the person in the chain and then you say on the authority of or that such and such on the authority of or that such and such. So the one who you actually heard it from, تُسْقِطُهُ You remove him. And then you say, an On the authority of, the one you said, on the authority of, you didn't hear it from him. There should be someone there. أنت تُسْقِطُهُ But you're removing him. This is called تَدْلِيس. تَدْلِيسُ الْإِسْنَادِ So in menu card group, we can repeat. إِشْمَتَ اللَّهُ تَدْلِيسُ الْإِسْنَادِ إِسْقَاتُ الشَّيْخِ بِقَوْلِ عَنْ وَعَنْ جَمِيلًا To remove the shaykh. But you remove him by saying, on the authority of. Okay? I heard the hadith from Zayd. I heard it from Imam Ayyub. I heard it from Imam Yusuf. That's my chain. Zayd and Ayyub and Yusuf. When I narrate it, I don't mention Zayd. I should say, Hadathani Shaykhi Zayd. Qala hadathana Imam Ayyub. Qala hadathana Imam Yusuf. That's the chain. And the ma'ana ulidu al-anqula. When I want to narrate it, Usqitu Shaykhi. I'm going to remove my Shaykh. Now the reasoning sometimes is evil, sometimes it's not evil. We'll get to that, inshallah. And I'm usqitu shaykhi. I'm going to remove my shaykh. I can't say, hadathani ayub. That's a lie. He didn't narrate to me. Right? 
So I remove my sheikh and I say an Imam Ayyub. Right? So it looks like the chain is like the sun. It looks like it. An, an. But in reality, I should narrate someone else, the one I heard the hadith from. But I remove him. And then I cover it up by saying, on the authority of. Right? That's why Mudalis is kind of tricky. And what is Tadlis? Some scholars say Tadlis is the brother of lying. The brother of lying. Your wife, she spent four, seven hours at the Somali hairdresser. Seven hours. Right? She says, oh, you can't wait to see my, my hair today. Allah Akbar. Jameel. She comes home. She takes her camera off. She says, Mera, what do you think? And it doesn't really amaze you like you thought. Seven hours, you think she's going to come looking like, mashallah, tight. At any rate, it's not that mashallah. But you can't say that. So she says, what do you think? So you look at something in the house, a beautiful picture, and you say, mashallah, that's the most beautiful thing I ever saw. Right? You didn't lie. What's my intent? The picture. She says, what do you think, baby? Honey, baby doll, habibi, mahbubi, marayu kafi afi What do you think? The sister did a great job. You say, mashallah. Uh, that's <laughs> You're trying to find something? You can't lie. You say, that's the most beautiful thing I saw. Mashallah. She thinks you're talking about the hair. You're talking about the picture. In the time of Imam Ahmed, they were persecuting many of the great imams. Regarding the issue, is the Quran created or not? So some of them, they got smart and they made tadlis. They would say, ما رأيك في قول الله تعالى مخلوق أو غير مخلوق? What do you say about the, the speech of Allah? Is it created or not? They would cover their hands up and they would say, Wallahi إِنَّهُ مخلوق. They would say, Verily, it is created. But they're saying their finger, the it, verily it is created. But in front of the, the leader, he thinks you're saying the Quran, but in your heart, you're intending your finger. That's called Tabilis. Someone is looking for you, looking for me. They come, hey, where is the brother Naim? And uh, and I move slightly, and I say, oh, can I have Huna? I say, he was just right here. He thinks he left. I say, oh, he was just right here, ya akhi. Inshallah, come back tomorrow, you might catch him. Oh, shukran. And he leaves. He said, you lied. Oh, I didn't lie. I was just right here. I moved. For example. And some people make a mistake. When they say Ibrahim, السلام, he made tadlis. When he was traveling and the enemy was trying to capture him, and he said, Man hadihi, he was with his wife. And he said, Who is this? And he said, Hadi ukhti. He said, This is my sister. Some people say, See, that's Tadlis. That's not Tadlis. He described her in a different way. He described her in a different way. He said, This is my sister, meaning in the religion. So that's not Tadlis. Who's that lying? That's not lying. That's the sister. Hey, some scholars they do mention that's, that's a statement I believe and they say he lied there but technically he didn't lie some scholars in the books of al -Fiqh, some of them mention that this is an example of permissible lying but that's not an example of that permissible lying permissible lying you really lie you really lie but you're not sinful here you're not sinful Two brothers are fighting. This one's from Somalia, this one's from Nigeria. And they're arguing the Olympics. My team is better than your team. We beat y'all last year. Our colors are better. And then you come to the door to Islah. You want to rectify between them. And you say, Umar, Muhammad. And you come and say, hey, you should squash the issue. It's over. Why? I heard the brother making do out for you in the salah. Right? He said, you heard him? I sure did, yeah. He, he made do out for you. But in his salah, he was making tashahud. Oh Allah, he started blessing upon all your believing servants. 
So I didn't lie. You are a believing servant, inshallah. He made dua for all the believing servants. You're from them. Right? But he thinks you're saying something else. Technically, you didn't lie. So how does that come into when giving da'wah? Tell you, for example, give me an example of giving da'wah, yeah, Um Um... We'll come back to that example. Given da'wah, somebody says something that someone perceives to be a lie, but in reality you didn't lie. I'll give him some time. I'll try to find a nice, beautiful example. Play it like the one with the woman. How was my how? How would you think? And you say, "Mashallah, that's the most beautiful thing in the room." The picture's in the room. You're intending the picture. She thinks you're talking about Mashallah, her beautiful hair. Follow. Like for example. For example, what do you say? Like, I believe in Jesus. Like, to a Christian, they're like, Oh my God, he's a Christian. <laughs> oh, I don't. I give it a, a, another one. Tell you, this happens to us in a prison. The man says, "You believe in Jesus?" And you say, "Yes, I believe in Jesus." He thinks you're saying you believe in him as a God. You say, "No, I believe in him." So, but technically, that's not really a lie. That's something different. That'll be more like Mughalis. What's something uh, permissible lying? You're actually lying, Yahweh. But you're not sinful here. Uh, you're forced? Not forced. That will be your, your no sin there. Scared for your life? For example, scared for your life, but that wouldn't be you're not held because you, you're compelled or you're, you're really afraid. Somebody comes in and says, You guys disbelieve in Allah or I'll take your life. And then a person says, I disbelieve in Allah. And then he leaves. Technically, that wouldn't be permissible lying here. No, it could be, because he's saying it out of fear. But to, to say something you don't really believe to save your life, that's, that's permissible. That would be a good example. Uh, uh, say if they're uh, giving da'wah, um, they have this preconceived notion that Islam is super strict, and so you kind of lie and you say, no, it's not as strict as you think. Okay, but that wouldn't be lying. Islam is not as strict as people think. My homie says that, man, you guys pray five times a day. Five times? That's a lot. I can't pray that much. He said, just because you can't pray that much doesn't mean it's a lot. It could be a lot. Relative, nisbiyan. It could be a lot to you, a lot to him. Someone else may say, that's all we do is pray five, that's it? I can do that. So that would be something different. Some people may think Islam is strict. They had a brother, his name was, I won't say his name. A real nice guy, Juan, in, in college. They made they, they they wrote him in the yearbook the most confused. <laughs> <laughs> you know people are harsh. Yeah, come on. Sometimes we are harsh people. You know the yearbook is oh she's the most pretty. Oh this one is the tallest. This one is the most likely to be the president. She's the most likely to be the sheikh. Oh, yeah. When I got to my friend, <laughs> and he had a nice picture. He was posing. <laughs> he said the most confused. <laughs> We're confused. We're harsh, Shaykh. Many Adam can be harsh. So, why did they say that? Because all three months, in this is true, they changed their name. Every three months, and this is true. Every three months, he changed his religion. Dang. When I first met him, he was Christian. Then he changed his religion to Yahudian. Then, three months later, he was Jew. You saw me, Shalom. <laughs> yeah, he, was, he was just Jesus. It's God. Tayyip. Three months later, Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Now he's Muslim. The next semester, Mulhid. He was an atheist. So they had him most confused. But he was really a nice brother. And I met him one day. And I said, Are you a Muslim? He said, Yes. Why did you go to Islam? So I said, you used to be Muslim. Now I'm a new Muslim. I'm happy. Alhamdulillah, I'm Muslim now. So I said, you were Muslim, right? He said, yeah, I was Muslim. I was just like you. I used to pray. Alhamdulillah. I wore the dress. I was just like you, ya akhi. I said, why did you leave? He said, I'm going to tell you why I left. He said, I got tired of reciting the same surah in the surah. He said, all I would say is, Qul huwa Allahu Ahad, next salah. Qul huwa Allahu Ahad, tomorrow. Qul huwa Allahu Ahad, next week. Qul huwa Allahu Ahad. He said, my heart wasn't there. I said, perhaps if you'd have learned more Quran, you could recite more than Qul huwa Ahad. Because I didn't know, that's all I knew. 
So he, his heart got tired of the same surah over and over and over. So his reason for leaving Islam wasn't a good reason. He didn't study. He didn't learn. For example, did he think my like Quran for Allah? He, he he thought that's all that's all I could, that's all I could do. That's all I could recite. I said this whole Quran that's you could do more, but he never got to that level. So he left Islam ignorantly. He left Islam ignorantly. I remember I tell you a story, Ikhwan. I told you a lot of stories. I don't know if I tell you guys or not. Uh, when I was a new Muslim, I used to be impressed by this woman. Real pretty, mashallah. She was so pretty. My mom was watching that Ikhwan. She was... <laughs> Gina, tell Umi to go somewhere. She was pretty, so pretty. When she would walk past, everybody would stop. You know those women, they have a way with them, how they move, mashallah. We've been in the cafeteria, playing ball, whatever we are, she comes in, everybody will stop. The teachers, the lunch aide, the boys, the girl, everybody. She was, Allah blessed her, mashallah. Tayyip. So one of the brothers said, hey, anta mu'ajibun biha, you like the girl. Anta muslim al-an, la yujuzu laka anta tazawaja biha, hiya nasraniya. So the brother told me, he said, oh, you like the girl. She's pretty, but she's Christian. You can't never marry her. You're Muslim now. I said, Islam doesn't allow? I, I, can't, I can't marry that girl? They said, no, you're Muslim. I said, I don't know, I don't know about Islam. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then years later, I learned, oh, you can marry the girl. She's Christian. You read the verse. I'm trying to find her in the yellow pages. Where's the girl? Where's the girl? <laughs> And anyway, I have a lot of stories there, Khwah. May Allah bless you all. Follow your shit. If you invited somewhere <coughs> and they ask you, how was this, uh, how was the food, how is the food? You are invited in your friend's house. Uh. And you don't like the food. Uh. But he is asking you because he, they, 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 they You don't want to hurt their feelings. Yes. Hey, that would be a good example. This is, uh. how is the food? I say, and you, you don't do that least. Uh. But you say, it is delicious. Hey, that would be an example of permissible line. Mm. I mean, like, I not to harm someone. Like, follow. What if you told him it's terrible? <laughs> I mean, it's very simple. Huh? Like, sometimes, terrible some of the people that I, I call Qawl and Sadeed, Surah Al-Hazab, the ayah, uh, that Sadeed has a few different meanings. Some say, as Rabbi Rabbi Matt, you gave one tip the other day, straightforward. Like, if you're blunt, you're blunt, straightforward. There's another meaning, tafsir, it means uh, siddhaqan, that you speak the truth, for example. Here, if someone says, hey, how'd you like my cooking? He said, that was terrible, yeah. <laughs> I didn't like that at all. The meat was burnt, it was hard, the ketchup was watery. That might hurt your feelings, but he's not wrong. He's not wrong. Sometimes our speech, we may think is harsh, but it may not really be harsh. May not be. But in reality, as Muslims, we're commanded, we're commanded to either speak good or to shut up. But here, he asked me, What do you think, Yaqi? That wasn't really that good. I had better bread last time. I don't know who cooked it this week. That's my opinion. No one should get offended. For example, one of the brothers he said, You speak too much Arabic in class. Why don't you just do like everybody else and just speak in English? Alhamdulillah, that doesn't harm me. Some other people say, hey, you don't speak enough Arabic. Alhamdulillah. I remember when I first came back to America, I was an imam down south somewhere. My first Jumu'ah. And I teach the same way I do now. And I'm going to say it in Arabic, English, Arabic, English, to the best of my ability. So I did the Jumu'ah, Arabic, English, Arabic, English. And half the master, or this one brother came to me and said, MashaAllah, I like the brother. He gave a nice reminder, but I think he speaks too much Arabic. This little old sheikh walked up. We are outside the masjid. From Afghan or somewhere, MashaAllah. Took a long time to get there. The brother said, Akhi, Ummi, indaha kalamun laka. And I don't know how to do it. So the brother said, My mom wants to say something to you. I thought she was gonna like jump on me, say something a little harsh. She took a little minute to come to the front. She was old, mashallah. Everyone cleared it up. She was walking her, a little walker. 
She's like, Ya Akhi Fallah. She has a Sheikha voice. Memorize. Ya Akhi Fallah. Had the Ahsan Jumu'ah Tin Samirtuha Qattu. Fi had the Masjid. La Dugri Yer Shayen. Takalam Bar Arabiya Yidah Shayta. Alhamdulillah. Fa Ibtisam Tu. The sister said, Ya Akhi. That was the best Jumu'ah I've ever heard of this Masjid. Forget what these people are saying. Speak as much Arabic as you wish. Say shukran ya ummi. Some people are going to say, some people are going to say. You give a Jumu'ah, you mention this hadith. A sister is going to come and say, hey, why did you mention that hadith? A brother is going to come and say, hey, shukran if I mention that hadith. Everyone's going to have an opinion. You never let the speech of the people harm you. If you're sincere, it's never going to harm you. We went to the prison, first day we got there. This brother from Africa, he's from Egypt. Sometimes I had some bad experiences in Egypt. <laughs> I had some bad experiences in Egypt. I'll tell you a lot some stories one day about that. So the brother was offended, he was mad at me. And then after we left, his companion said, Yaqi, Lonuka Muqtalifu Miloni al Imam al Akhar. Wali Dalika Ma Yurma Murjibun bi Lonika. Fala Lati Bali bi Kalam. So one of his companions after was over say, Yaqi, don't don't be offended here. Your skin color is different than the other brother that used to come and teach before. He was Egyptian like him. They were white looking, yellow looking. You're a black man. I said, I'm from Africa too. He said, yeah, but your skin is different. You're black, you're a black man. He looks white Egyptian. So, he doesn't harm me, Ikhwan. That's never gonna harm. As long as you stay on your side of the street and I stay on my side of the street, speech, people won't have speech. Alhamdulillah. Specific situation for the permissible line. Mm. So, I'm the only Muslim in the family. Right. And my parents, when I first I reverted, I did kind of lie to them because mm. they asked, like, you know, because I had to tell them, like, I had to pray. They said, How many times? And I first told them, it was like, Oh, not that much, like, you know, one or two. Okay. You know, so, say you were afraid, that would be different. Say, I don't want to harm. Yeah. There was a girl in the high school like that we met, so, and she was a Muslim. And in Ramadan, mashallah, she would be afraid. She would dress, leave out the house, regular clothes. And then when she got our front, pick her jilbab or her khimar, mashallah, go to the masjid, come back, take her jilbab or her khimar off, and go in the house. So we said, I'll give you some advice. The next time you're reading with your mom, with your abbey, read the Quran, with, read the, the Bible with them. Read the Bible with them. There's some truth in there. There's some truth in there. Read the Bible with them. Say, Umi, Umi, I'm about to study the Bible. You want to read with me? And then the next day, read the Quran. Umi, Umi, I found another holy book. You want to read with me? Let them know you're, you're, you're searching for religion. You're seeking the truth. Sometimes this helps. I remember my own Umi, when I first became Muslim, was mad, was offended, my own mother. And she used to say, we raised him as a Christian. And now he's Muslim. And I heard her talking one time about me. And I was in another room. She said, oh, Naeem, he left this, he left our religion. So I came in there and I said, nah, I love the religion, but my studies of the Bible guided me to Islam. I said, what do you mean? I used to focus on what Jesus was talking in the Bible. And then you read Surah Al Imran, Surah Al Ma'idah, it's the same. Surah Al Maryam, it's the same verbatim. Nowhere did Jesus say, worship me, he was God. Nowhere. He said the same thing verbatim. But sometimes our parents and our friends don't know that. So you say, hey, Umi, read the Bible with me. Come on, let's memorize this ayah. And then now let's read the Quran together. It's the same. Sometimes they don't know because we don't do a good job of giving them da'wah, for example. I remember the first time my mother prayed with me. First time. First and last time. She prayed one time. May Allah help us all. Wa ba'adhat li an masjidin. My mother one time, I stayed with her for the summer. And she, mashallah, may Allah guide her. She found the masjid for me. I was kind of sad. I'm used to praying in the masjid, used to being around the Muslims. I go to her city. There are no Muslims there, mashallah, no masjid there. So I was sad. So she found the masjid. So my mother went with me one day on a bus. We didn't have a car at the time. We went on a bus to the masjid. And we had to walk like a mile, mashallah, around this little hill. My legs are sore and tired. I'm like, Mommy, you sure? Is a masjid here? Are you sure? She's like, Yes, it said there was a masjid. We got there, alhamdulillah, it was a masjid. 
And then my mother did something amazing. May Allah guide my ummi. And our, our family and friends have gone to Islam. So she put her hand in her purse and pulled out a kimar. First time I ever seen my mom with a kimar. First and last. May Allah guide in all of us. She pulled out her kimar. You know how the sisters, mashallah, they do that thing. I don't know what they're shaking off here, Juan. <laughs> You see this just all the time. She takes that kimar. <laughs> what is that on there? <laughs> and then she grabbed it. <laughs> and then she wrapped it around, alhamdulillah. Little shaykh, I'm like, oh, little tear came from my eye. I said, ummi, mashallah, I see jamila. Allah akbar, ummi lanky. I said, look how beautiful you are, ummi. Allah akbar, that's from Allah. That's how you should be. So she wrapped her kimar on, walked in the masjid, and then, they thought she was Muslim. It was just a time to pray. They called their dad, and then the men had to pray upstairs. The men, the, the women were downstairs. So I was afraid. I know she's not Muslim. I didn't know what she's gonna know what to do, you know. So I was just hoping somebody would help her. So we came back down, and she was so bright and happy looking, smile. She was so happy. Her face was so bright. And I said, oh, what happened? She said, oh, I feel so blessed. I just, I haven't prayed in so long. I feel so clean. My mind has an issue with clean. I feel so clean. My soul feels clean. Mashallah. Like, and we go outside and she takes it off and put it back in her bag. <laughs> Why are you mean? Like, I saw you. Wow. I remember that day at wow. Hawaii. And I'm praying with the first time. I used to always wonder how I was going to feel to pray with my ummi. I used to always think, how? You brothers that are born Muslims and your mother's Muslim and her mother's Muslim. You guys have a blessing that we didn't have. Now we look to Muslim and I wasn't Muslim. فكنت نصرانيا and I was Christian. فأردت أن أشعر في قلبي بشعوري أن أصلي مع أمي. So I used to want to feel how how would it be if I could look back there and see my Ummi? Just imagine give a Jumu'ah and your, your mother is there. I never had that honor. So I used to wonder how is it does it feel? I can imagine Ummi is there. So I wanted to see her, so I'm praying, and my, I'm just crying and so happy. Mashallah, my mother is praying. And I hope that she became Muslim. The only person I would trade place with in the hellfire is my mother. Maybe my father too, but my mother, especially my ummi. The only one I know the Makani, Laha wa Adru Rabbana subhanahu wa ta'ala laha, be kuli yomin wa leila. And I ask Allah Ta'ala God to every day and every night, Ya Tayyab, tonight. We'll have a break from homework, inshallah ta'ala. Raji' bidayat al-kitab ila al-mu'adal. Review, inshallah, from the beginning of the metan, of the manzuma, until the portion. Wal-mu'adal usafi tamin abadnani. Man yurid an yu'adhan. Who wants to call it? Ya khwa. May Allah bless you all, ya khwa. One day we have a night. And I tell you guys my story of how I became a Muslim. Allah <laughs> 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 <laughs>